right, let's get started. A few minutes past here. Um, again, some friendly reminders. Um, make sure you're doing the dynamic warm-up before you're jumping on these. Um, again, the link to the dynamic warm-up uh, is on the YouTube channel there. You can follow along there. Um, recording to these videos are on there as well. So if you, you know, have questions on some of the standards for the movements um, or how we do them, you know, go back to those videos, watch them, make sure you're doing these right. Um, so have proper form technique. Okay, um, starting out, we'll be going through um, the shoulder strengthening series number three. And again, this is one you can do um, if you have no equipment. So um, very similar to the other ones we did, you know, with the hand weights, with the bands, um, just another option you can do to strengthen the shoulders, keep them healthy. Um, you know, whether you're coming back from a shoulder injury or trying to prevent shoulder injuries. Okay, this is something we should be doing at least three times a week. Okay, so the first one up here, um, again, a lot of you know these, just a quick refresher. We'll just be going through a few reps of each. Okay, um, our I's, Y's, and T's. Okay, you're going to want to make sure your head stays nice and relaxed. We'll have our arms out. In this eye position here, okay, we're at position 11, okay, thumbs up, and from the shoulders and back, we're going to raise the arms off the ground and back down, so we're controlling it up from the back and back down, okay, what we want to avoid is, you know, either coming up too fast and letting them drop, or coming up controlled and letting them drop, and then not using our back and our shoulders here and just kind of you know, lifting from the elbows or just shoulders, but really trying to pinch those shoulder blades together. Okay. Next one, the Y, same thing. Keeping that head relaxed. Pinching the shoulder blades together in that Y position. Keeping your thumbs up, controlled up, controlled down. Okay, and then same thing, but in the T position here. Arms out at your side. Okay, thumbs up still. Pinch the shoulder blades, control up, control down. Okay. Good. Next one we'll go from there is the reverse snow angels. So we got our hands back above our head. Uh, we're going to start with those hands just a few inches off the ground, palms facing down. Okay. And then as we come down to our side, um, palms are going to be finishing facing up. Okay. So just like we're doing a snow angel on our stomach. Okay, we're here. Palms start face down and they finish. We rotate them up as we get to our side. Okay, what the focus on here is keeping these hands just a few inches off the ground the whole way. Okay, so we don't want to drag them on the ground and we don't want to get too high. You know, we start low, finish high here. Keep them all, okay, up and down couple inches off the ground. Okay, next one from there, Superman pull-ups. So we're, essentially, we're just doing that pull-up in Superman position, so we're trying to get that chest. Arms off the ground as high as we can, and we're going to pull down. Elbows come back and down, trying to get those elbows into our back pocket here, and then back up. Okay? And if you want to do this with some kind of, you know, tubing, Okay, towel, something that will keep your hands fixed in this position here. So we're making sure we're not going out too wide, you know, starting narrow, coming out wide. Keep them in that position, let them here. Elbows down to your side. Pinch on the shoulder blades, okay. But just a few of these, you should feel the traps, upper back, lower back, really start to work, okay. Okay, and then the last one from there is our scat push-up. So starting out in our push-up position, um, same thing, same principles apply here. Okay, start with his hands right under our shoulders. Okay, um, inside of our elbows face forward. We'll get up into that push-up position. Then all we're gonna do is we're gonna drop down through the shoulder, keeping these arms locked out. So we're gonna go down, bring those shoulder blades together as close as we can and then as far as part as we can, okay? So small range of motion here, small movement, 
Okay, just through the shoulder, we're gonna add scapular muscle. Okay, without any bend in the arms. Okay, so if you see from this angle here, yeah. Yeah, so if you see from this angle, guys, so my arms aren't bending at all, and I'm keeping my um, body in line the whole time. So as I'm going down, I'm not bending the arms and I'm not dropping the hips, okay? They're not coming out. I'm keeping the inside of my elbows facing forward, okay? And I'm just going down through the hips, or through the shoulders, and then back up, okay? So you can see, just moving through the shoulders here. Not a whole lot of movement. Again, we're just working the small uh, muscle group there. Okay. Good. Any question on that series there for the shoulder strengthening? Okay, cool. Let's move on. Three movements for today. We've got our upper body. We'll be doing the pull-up. For the lower body, we'll be reviewing the jump rope. And three for our core, the arch up. Okay. So first for the pull-up. If you have a pull-up bar, great. If not, get one. Okay? Um, even if it's just one of those, you mount in between the doorway. Okay? You know, you don't even need a bar really, just an edge or something. You know, I go out on the, you know, my back patio, and it's, you know, just above my hand height. It comes down pretty low. I'm able to jump up and just pull up on the back patio uh, back there on the edge of the roof, okay? Um, begin finding something you can hang from and work on that pull-up motion, okay? It's gonna be really beneficial to you as swimmers, okay? As you build that body strength, being able to move your body weight around, okay? Through that pulling motion, okay, is really gonna set you apart in the water, okay? If, um, you know, here we should be able to do you know anywhere from five to ten uh, unbroken pull-ups uh, where we control that body weight. Okay, where we're not you know trying to swing or you know using our legs as momentum to get up. Okay, um, really going to help uh, you in the water as you are able to increase that pulling power in the water. Okay, whether you're doing breaststroke in that catch position, even backstroke, you're getting that pull. Okay, in the lat engage. Okay, um, really focusing on increasing that pull-up strength. Okay, so just kind of start with a full pull-up here on um, what you guys should be doing. Um, so again, hands um, just about you know wider than shoulder width here. Um, palms facing forward. Okay, palms facing in. That's more uh, call that chin up. Okay, we'll be doing pull-ups. Uh, uh, palms facing away from us, facing. Facing away. So again, we're going to control up. Okay, really working on keeping that core tight as we go up. Okay, getting above the bar and then control on the way down. Okay, notice how I didn't get up to the top of the bar and then just drop myself down to that bottom hang position. Okay, uh, we really want to uh, be careful with our shoulders. Okay, we don't want to drop down. Okay, pop something, tear something as we, you know, land in that bottom position here. So again, okay, nice and tight, strong, pull up, and then control down. Top. Okay, no really sense in doing any, you know, junk um, reps, you know, where we're trying to, you know, lift those legs up, get a little kip in there, okay? Um, as swimmers really want to focus on a good tight body line, okay? So from that hang position, feet are in front of us a little bit. We're gonna engage that back, engage the lats as we pull up. Okay, a um, couple ways to modify this. If you have a pull-up bar and you can't quite get to a pull-up yet, um, or maybe you're at one pull-up and you wanna be able to do, you know, five plus, 10 plus pull-ups, great way to do that is, um, you know, eccentric or native pull-ups where you're going to either use a step, a box, or just jumping up to that top position here, okay, where I'm 
starting at the top, chin above the bar, and then slowly lowering yourself down to the bottom as slow as you can. So really over exaggerate that coming down. Okay, we're not just controlled on the way down. Okay, but we're consciously going as slow as we can. Okay, taking as long as we can on that descent. Okay, so really, no effort up, as slow as you can on the descent. Um, if you don't have a pull-up bar, um, and you had a way to do our inverted rows, you had to set up either TRX bands, rings, um, you know, maybe the bar height just isn't as high where you can get your feet off the ground, you know, just starting in a sitting position, okay, where your feet are under you, and you're using your arms still, okay, with a little assistance from your legs. Okay, you can really control how much legs or how much work your legs do. Okay, because I can use all my legs and just stand up. Okay, or I can keep my light or my feet light, my legs light, and really focus on trying to let my feet hang off the ground. Okay. Um, other than that, if you don't have access to any. Uh, rings, TRX bands, anything like that, or a pull-up bar. Again, try to find access to a pull-up bar, even if it's in your backyard on the monkey bars. Um, get creative, as long as it can support your body weight uh, for multiple reps. Okay, if you don't have any of that, um, doing something to get that pulling motion in here. Uh, bent over rows, you know, with the band. We'll be covering that in Wednesday's uh, call but, um, or those inverted rows, okay, another pulling motion we can do um, for that as well, okay? Any questions on the upper body? Okay, let's go into our lower body movement. This is a great one, thank you. This is, oh, you just got tangled again. This is a great one for not only the legs, but a good cardio workout as well. Um, so again, if you have um, some kind of thinner speed type jump rope, um, a speed rope, okay, again, there are only a few books on Amazon if you don't already have one. Um, so we want to try to use something thinner um, so we can get a little more cardio work in. If all you have is a thicker, more heavier rope, um, that's fine for now, but try to work on getting something a little bit thinner for more speed. Okay, a um, couple basics of the jump rope. A very basic exercise, but very good at working the legs, keeping the legs conditioned, keeping and getting your heart rate up. Okay, working a little um, aerobic work. Okay, um, again, basic movement, let's keep it basic. So, all you uh, need to do know is for the feet, all we're going to be doing okay, is just a little hopping motion here. Okay, so you can see I got a little slight bend in my knee and I'm just bouncing off the balls of my feet, okay, as I go up, okay, um, never jump rope before, take a jump rope in one hand, swing it around, okay, you just be hopping every time you hit that, or hit that rope hit the floor, okay. Um, the other thing to think about here, as you do these, um, really the only upper body movement should be around that wrist. Okay, we don't want to be taking that whole arm around. Okay, if you feel yourself having to go all the way around, your rope's probably a little too short. So you have to like extend that arm to get it under your feet. Um, so a quick test here to see if your rope's long enough. Okay, when you're stepping on your rope in the middle, Okay, those handles should be coming up around your armpit. Okay, so when you're doing the jump rope, again, just hopping off the feet here, not a lot of bend in the knees. Okay, and then the arms, the elbows are staying close to my side. And I'm just moving that rope with my wrist here. Okay. All right, that's the basics of the jump rope. Any questions there? All right, moving on to our last movement here for the core. Um, and this is a quick reminder, 
when it comes to core, okay, that doesn't just mean, you know, ab work, okay, we're not just working sit-ups, crunches, um, we want to do something that's going to engage the whole core, which is the abs, obliques, hips, back, lower back, okay, um, so this one is going to work the lower back here, part of our core, um, the arch up or superman, okay, you're going to be on your stomach, We'll hop on down, arms out in front of you, your arms and legs are going to arch up, okay, as high as you can, and back down, okay, so if you see it from the side here, as I arch up, okay, I'm going to keep my arms, my arms and my legs straight, my toes pointed, as I arch up, okay, so I'm not bending the knees here, I'm not bending at the elbow, keeping my arms and legs straight as I arch up. Okay, and this is something we can do either as, you know, three sets of 12, up and down, or three set, sets of 20 second hold, you know, 20 second on, 10 second off type of thing. Okay, really working on engaging that lower back. Okay, again, we want to work on keeping everything balanced. Okay, we don't just want to work the core and neglect the back. We don't want to just uh, work the pushing motion, uh, working the pecs and neglecting the back. Okay, again, a lot of those imbalances is going to create injuries over time. So if our pecs are really tight, back is weak, and our shoulders are rounded in, okay, and all that rotation is going to wear on that shoulder over time. Okay, so we're really focusing on keeping everything balanced. Okay, and then Last thing here as we wrap up, um, coming up on Wednesday, just to give you a heads up, we'll, we'll, we will be going over bat wings, okay, or kind of a bent over row, okay, so if you have a band, if you have weights, you know, 10, 15, 20 pound dumbbells, or, you know, a milk jug, you fill it with sand or water, okay, something you can do, okay, moving some weight in that bent over row position, okay? Awesome job, you guys. Any questions as we finish up?